there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Decoration, Dutchie. It's all about the lure. Mate, I reckon that cost you a bomb. A oh, bloke of the tackle warehouse to the deal on the whole shebang. A smidge shy of a grand. Oh. Oh. Must have seen him coming. Oh. All right, well, why don't you guys just stay back when I land my first fish? I just don't think it's my position to have to deal with that. It's your job. I think Sir, welcome. aircraft closing from stern, line of sight one zero. Seaplane? No. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. It's a small Cessna by the look of it. Cessna aircraft off my stern. This is Australia warship calling you on UHF-16. Come in. What's he doing? Buzzing the Navy for a lark. Wouldn't be the first time. Cessna aircraft off my stern. This is Australian warship. Hey, Judge. Seeing as how you're not doing too much, you might not get him in the net. I've got my set. You on? Yeah. Holy hell! Whoa. It's not a mackerel, it could be a dog tooth. It could be a marlin. You have reeled in a big game fish before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah well, I got a big flathead in the Marucci River once. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 No, 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 let him fight, let him fight. Oh. Ah. Reel, 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 reel. Well, you've got a fight on your hands, Judge. Say the word and I'll jump in. I'm all right, Gail. No, no. Hey, no, no. he's rather close. Nice. What's this guy up to? Hotel India, Quebec, Sierra. Punch the tail number into the CASA website. Registered to some cow cocky called Matheson in the Territory. I say we give the feds a bell. I don't think we'll go that far, Charge. It was just some hotshot pilot trying to razz us up. That hotshot cost me an $800 rod, <laughs> sir. And a fair bit of pride. Charge, publicity only encourages idiots like that. And there's plenty of fish in the sea, Charge. Fish like that come along once in a lifetime, X. Charge, are you aware that bird is on marine tech rotation? What? Might be nice of you to teach her a thing or two. <laughs> of course, sir. There's something in the water right ahead, range near. Stop both engines, port 30. Stop both engines, port 30. Midships, midships. 
Full astern both engines. Full astern both engines. We didn't see anything on the radar. If it's a boat, we haven't had any EPIRBs. Or any Maydays. And no recent storm activity to speak of. It's not just jettison debris. There is actually some structure there. X. It's not a boat. It's part of a wing off a plane. Let's get charge up here. Any sign of the main cabin, X? Negative. Looks like most of the central section has gone down. Sir? The RCC has detected the aircraft's emergency transmitter at our current coordinates, so that's it. What's the water depth here? Approximately 600 metres. Mark the position, right? Explains the erratic flight pattern. Must have been low on fuel or mechanical problems. Strange no maydays. They didn't respond to our transmissions. Puts the losses and fish and tackle into perspective. Sir? Something in the water of 200 metres. Red Sir, we've got someone in the water. Sir! Just come up this way a bit more. Stop! Two, three. Hey, he's got a pulse. He's alive. We need a stretcher on the quarter deck. Pupils are three to four. A bit sluggish. There's burns to his face and hands appear pretty superficial. Uh, two dads, I need you to get me a bowl of water with lots of ice in it and plenty of face washes. Roger. Luckily, he doesn't look like he's got any inhalational burns. EP's 160 or 95. Okay. Spino. Uh, head injury, sir. His blood pressure's a bit high and his pulse is tacky. But we really won't know where we stand until we check his Glasgow coma scale. English fine. Need a medivac. RO's already put in a request. So what he's wearing is... Prison overalls. Commander White, Lieutenant Commander Flynn on the sat phone. Now, the Cessna's confirmed as belonging to a cattle property in the top end, Mike. I mean, details are still sketchy, but there was an incident involving an overturned prison bus about 200 k's out of Darwin. So we're talking escape prisoners? Three prisoners are unaccounted for, and it seems they hijacked the property owner, a Jim Matheson, and forced him to fly them out in his Cessna. Well, we're heading for PNG, given the direction they were flying. And the prisoner number on those overalls identifies your injured man as Carl Butterworth. He's a convicted rapist and murderer. Now, I am waiting on information on this Butterworth from Northern Territory Prison Services, and I will email it to you as soon as it arrives. Thank you. And the medivac? I'm afraid I've got some more bad news for you. Our patient's name is Carl Butterworth, but we have a problem, Swain. Medivac's a no-go. Assets are tied up in the Team Morse Sea. Best we can do is steam home at top speed. All right. So when are we getting underway, then? The ex is doing another sweep of the debris field. Two other prisoners and a pilot were on that Cessna. We have to be absolutely certain. So what's this man in prison for? He was convicted of rape and murder. But given his condition, I don't think he's a danger. Can you manage him until we reach port? I guess so. I'll check on the X's progress. Bomber. Stop breathing, grab the ambi bag. Bomber! Three comprehensive sweeps. I'd say anyone else on that plane hasn't made it. OK, X. Head back to the ship and we'll get underway. Problem, boss. Running out of saline. Now, without an IV infusion, I don't think I can keep this man alive long enough to get back to port. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any other options, mate. We might. Tapara Island's four miles to the south of us. Now, there's a small Red Cross clinic in the village. Should have saline solution and other medical equipment that'll help me manage him better. OK. Contact the clinic, see if they can help out. This looks suspiciously like Tuesday night's fish casserole. Bomber's busy. If it wasn't that, it'd be last Sunday's lasagna. Yeah. It smells a bit pongy. Two days, if you don't like it, don't eat it. Have you got any muffins? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's 
see it. Hey, Judge, can you pass me the dead horse, please? Yeah, sure. Give me the muffin. Hmm? Well, well, Give me the muffin. Do I look like a sap to you? Give me the muffin. Judge, you do look like a bit of a sap. You... Oh! Judge! I'm sorry to interrupt the fun and games. I've got a little job for you. Can't do anything on an empty stomach, ma'am. You won't be using your stomach. It's a simple pickup. Who am I picking up? Apart from two dads and dropping him on his head. Dr. Nadal. Swain spoke with him. He's over on to Power Island. Need to take it a shore party, pick him up and bring him back to Hammersley? Sure. Mm -hmm. Just one thing. Mm -hmm. I'm taking him. Absolutely. You can take Dutchie too. The village is just a short hike into the jungle. Good job, Robert. Take care, baby. Mm. You've uh, got your lunch on your chin, mate. Oh, it's a bit of overkill there, Dutchie. It's just a pickup, mate. I've always said it's better to have a gun than need a gun, Charge. <laughs> Charge, I hear you guys going to the island. Yeah. Well, I'm on marine tech rotation, so it's my job to shatter you, right? Go where you go. It's not a marine tech job, Bird. Please, 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 Charge. I won't be a problem. I promise, please. <laughs> hey, you're the boss. One condition, you stay with the rib. Anything to feel real sand beneath my feet. All right, go. Get special helmet. Go. Yep. Go. Sucker and a soft touch. <laughs> hey. Bert, keep one eye on this rib, one ear on that radio. And all this lovely sand between my toes. You just keep your boots on. Come on, let's go. Jeez. Simple pickup, she said. Short hike into the jungle, she said. Well, there'd better be an all-day breakfast here, I can tell you that for nothing. Hello? Anyone here? Like it's well past lunchtime. Char grilled, whatever the hell that is, anyone? Didn't know Bomber was cooking for the locals now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You hear that? Nothing to hear. Exactly. Hello? Hello? Dr. Nadal! Hello? Looks like somebody left in a hurry. Somebody? The whole village. Australian Navy, anyone here? <whistles> Dr. Nadal! Hello? Two dads, watch our backs for any movement. It's been cut, sir. It's the whole village, it's, it's deserted. It's like they've left in a real hurry. Over. So Boa Island's had its fair share of conflict in the past, sir. Rascals in the line. Charge, are you armed and in Kevlar vests? Negative, sir. Dutchie's got a pistol, but I, I didn't think it was necessary. Over. Sir, I told him that it was a straightforward pickup. OK, you can lead a second shore party. Rogo with the X, fully armed with the extra plates. Charge, I'm sending over a second shore party. I want you three to head to the beach. They'll replace you and conduct a search. Over. Copy that, sir. Out. Excuse me, X. Yep. Hey, Ro, you want to go ahead and get the rib in the water? Yes, I need you to search Red Cross Clinic, see if you can get what he needs. Yep. He's made a list. 
uh, saline solution, morphine, soggy gel, or melanin. That's a non-stick dressing. Bomber, why don't you join us and then you can just get this stuff yourself? I would, but Swain needs me here, man. Well, can't Bird assist him? Bird? Yeah. Sir? X, what's the hold-up? We've got a problem. Bird is on the island. What? According to Bomber, Charge let Bird join the shore party. OK, get over there as quick as you can. Charge, CO. Go ahead, sir. Charge, do you have Bird with you? Negative, sir. What do you mean, negative? I've just been told you let her join the shore party. I uh, left her mining the rib. Bird, this is Charge. Over. Bird, this is Charge. Over. Bird! Charge! Come in! Bird! Okay. Yeah. What's this? A life rock. I've got a really bad feeling about this charge. That's the tail number from the crash Cessna. There's a pilot and two escapees unaccounted for, right? Both convicted murderers. Oh, great. Okay, I'm gonna circle round to the west, try to flank him. You two keep his focus here. What? You want us to be sitting ducks? No, I want you to be decoys. He's got an automatic weapon, you've only got a 9mm. And we've got sweet F.A. You hesitate, you die. You may as well drop that gun of yours now. Place is gonna be crawling with Navy in a minute. Yeah, and I won't be here. There's no way off this island, mate. You're not going to get far in that pretty little life raft of yours. I've got Matheson. Guys, he's holding the pile of hostage. I need one of you to create a distraction on his east flank. Try to help go. Crunch! I hope you got plenty of ammo. Is that little pop gun all you got? <laughs> Got your charges gone over. Back off! Back off or I shoot him in the head. Please, God, do what he says. I mean it. I got nothing to lose. I'll kill him. All right. All right, I'm backing off. God, you okay, Mr. Matheson? Yeah. He's dead. Pretty good shooting, Vachy. It's a ballsy maneuver, Charge. Where's the other guy? I don't know. He took off a while back. But. Seriously poor judgment. You took a GX on a shore party without following proper procedure. Yes, sir. I just thought that because she was on my rotation. Bird is a gap recruit. 
She joins evolutions only with my express approval. Now, I'm not saying you could have anticipated what happened, but you should never have left her alone and in charge of minding that rib. That is a seaman's responsibility. It won't happen again, sir. No, it won't. You can go. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Dutchie, I want a full report on that shooting, and your divisional officer will organise counselling. I guess that's not optional, sir. Yes, sir. So I managed to get uh, solugel, non-stick dressing, saline solution. There's a few vials of morphine in there. Although, the guy the Dutchie shot had already pumped most of that into his leg. All right, thanks, Ron. You did well, mate. So is the rapist murderer going to live? Uh, just in here, Mr Matheson. Uh, Swain. Yeah. This is Mr Matheson. He's got a few cuts and abrasions that need cleaning. Yeah, um, Omar, can you, um... Why don't you take him into the seniors' mess and treat him in there? Sure. Sorry. Uh, Mr Matheson, just follow me. I think you need stitches. Butterfly clip should do the job. Mr Matheson, I'm Mike Flynn, commanding officer. You've been through quite an ordeal. Yes. Your Cessna, did it run out of fuel or...? Oh, I had to ditch it. It was a last resort, believe me. You're a hero, Mr Matheson. It's Jim. I'm no hero. I thought I was going to die today. More than once. Well, you're safe now. Carl Butterworth is no danger, and the other fella is under armed guard. The third SKP was killed, as you know. That makes me a bit happier. I know someone else will be a lot happier. Your wife. Navcom will be contacting her soon. I'll leave you to it. Very good. My watch. Is he OK? And he reckons he's got chronic asthma. Can't breathe. There's no air in here. I, maybe I busted a rib. Has Swain seen him? No, I just brought him straight down here. I'm telling you think that Swain should see him? At least give him a puff on some venom or something? It's pretty stuffy in here. All right, I'll tell him. Thank you. Sir, uh, some of the blisters have already burst. We're just applying solid gel and melanin dressing. Oh. Yeah, I've already got an IV Swing. solid running. Oh. Just a sec, sir. Oh. Mr Butterworth. Mr Butterworth, can you hear me? Swain, eh? You needed an osteo, mate. Just a minute. Uh, sir, patient's semi-conscious and in obvious pain. I'm going to need to give him some morphine. I just need your OK for that. Yep. Yeah, OK. OK, all right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll call if there are any further developments. Yeah. The other con in Austere, he reckons he's got asthma. Charge wants you to check him out. Uh, Bert, can you grab Bert, please? Oi! Chicken legs. Swain, watch it. Swain? Yeah, Bert, uh, can you give Bomber a hand in here while I go down to Austere? Sure. Okay. Okay, Bomb. Fleet Medical's instruction. It's two milligrams of morphine every ten minutes. Gonna give him one dose here. Wait another ten minutes. If he's still in any pain, give him another two milligrams. Okay. Okay. I wasn't going to hurt her. She just she turned around and fell. I just wanted to. What? The keys to the inflatable. So you could continue your escape. So I could go home. Back to the mainland. Turn myself in. And why escape in the first place? I didn't want to get on that plane. I just... I don't know. Got caught up in it all, I guess. The way I hear it... You fled from an overturned prison van. I figured if I could get free, I could prove my innocence. I didn't murder my wife. I was framed by the police. Right. Don't tell me. It was one armed man. It was my best mate. He was having an affair with her. 
Our prison's full of innocent men, eh? If you're so innocent, why'd you kill a doctor? I wasn't a part of that, I swear. As soon as we got to the island and took off, I never hurt anyone. I'm a pacifist. Thanks, mate. Escape here in Austin. Yep. What you reading that for? I was actually looking up Butterworth, but this just came up. Thought I'd check it out. Says he's an innocent man. Yeah. And he was framed by police. Right. I thought I was the conspiracy nut. You are uh, fake moon landings, alien abductions, those photographs of the four-breasted Estonian woman. That woman is documented fact. say murdered his wife. Best mate. <laughs> Motive? According to Mr Logan, his best mate and his wife were having an affair. She was going to out them both if the best mate didn't get a divorce. Sounds vaguely plausible, but why would the police go to all the trouble of framing Logan? I don't get that. Why don't they just go after the real killer? I don't know. Why don't you go ask him? Mrs Matheson? I've got your husband right here. Passage. Thanks, Captain. Hello? Mm, yeah. The throat. Yeah, burnt. <clears throat> no, no, I'm okay. Really. <clears throat> I can't really talk. <clears throat> yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, I miss you too, darling. Love you, sweetheart. See you soon. Mama, I think he needs another shot of morphine. Oh. Oh. It's been over ten minutes, Bomber. Look, it's nearly fifteen minutes. Bomber, look at him. The man needs another shot of morphine. Swain said that. I know what Swain said. Then why aren't you giving him the shot? Do you honestly think a man like this deserves pain relief? Are you serious? He raped and murdered three women, Bird. One of them was 16, a year younger than you. How do you know that? Made it my business to find out. OK. But he's still suffering. Not nearly as much as those women suffered. Look, if you don't give him the shot of morphine, I will. in here. Tell someone who cares. Hey. So you've done your watch? Yeah, I just figured I'd let you off the hook. Well, shouldn't we stick to the X's roster? Two dads. <coughs> I'm offering you the opportunity to skive off. Uh, this doesn't mean I owe you, yeah? You can't turn around tomorrow and call in a favour. Just go and watch a DVD. I saw some interesting news clippings about you on the net, Logan. Prosecution had a pretty solid case against you. Oh, yeah. What motive did I have? They said you found out about the affair. It's a crime of passion. Never had a clue. I thought we were happy. Makes me a gullible fool, not a murderer. A similar thing happened to my dad. My mum cheated on him with his best mate. He said he always felt like killing his mate. Yeah. And not my mum. 
Exactly. If I had known, I would have gone after Barry, not Rhonda. We'd been mates 20 years. Why would the police frame you? Why wouldn't they just try and prove the case against a real killer? Barry was a cop. They were looking after their own. I can't breathe. Logan? There's no air in here. This isn't working. You all right? Yeah. That's it. Let's go straight out. Suck it in. Good, fresh sea air. Stay there. Mr. Matheson. Okay, um, I need you to go to the wardroom and get the swain for me. Sorry. Do you know where the wardroom is? Oh, is that where they're treating that uh, Butterworth guy? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I need you to ask the swain to come out to the boat deck. Um, tell him Logan's having another asthma attack. OK. Thanks, mate. I can't give any more morphine for another five minutes, OK? Yeah. Looking for the swain? Yeah, it's me. We need up on deck. Uh, Logan's having an asthma attack. OK, thank you. I'm on morphine for five minutes, OK? OK, cool. <gasps> Let go of me. That man! That... Let go of me, he's free! No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Just breathe in and out, slowly as you can. How's the guy in the wardroom? Yeah, I think he's going to be okay. Suffering from a bit of concussion, but he's starting to come around a bit more. That's good. That's it, mate. Just breathe in and out. His lungs sound clear, his breathing's back to normal. But just in case, hang on to that. Give me a call if he has another attack. Thanks, Juan. Answer me something. What? If I could give you information that would save lives on this boat, what would it be worth? Would you let me escape? What sort of question is that? If I told you something that would save lives here, maybe even the lives of your shipmates, would you look the other way? Let me go. Staging C5 party, muster and investigate. Large to the bridge and the run. What's going on? Sir, can you make your way up to the top deck, please? Charge, Marine Link Consul. Oh, sir, what have we got? Fire or smoke? He's just smoke at the moment, but with a smoke. Yeah. Bridge. Charge, this is Dutchie. Yeah, yeah, Dutchie. Yeah, it's a bogey, mate. There's no smoke in here at all. Right, eh? Do a thorough check of any adjacent compartments. Get two desks to double check the smoke detector. See if it's faulty. Yep, copy that. Hey, do you want to go and check on the patient and make sure the alarm hasn't unsettled? Yeah, sure. You need to check that and make sure it's not faulty. We need to check the adjacent compartments. There's no fire or smoke in the laundry, sir. OK, everyone can relax. Looks like a false alarm.
Fama! You're right. You're right. <coughs> Sit rep, Dutchy. Well, we're still clearing the upper deck, sir. No sign of him as yet. After we secure this area, we'll head to the lower decks. Roger. You okay? Yes, sir. Sir, this just in from NAVCOM, though they claim they sent it over an hour ago. Confirms what our patient seems to be saying. Well, he must have changed clothes with Jim Matheson at some point. Mm. Dutchy CO. Go ahead, sir. I have confirmation the man we're searching for is Carl Butterworth. What's going on? I heard the alarms and I... Butterworth went for the pilot. Yeah. Did he kill him? No, but he... He almost killed young Bomber, but I got to her in time. I told you. <laughs> what happens now? Well, we're still looking for Butterworth. He got away. No, I'm not talking about Butterworth. What about me? We had a deal, right? I gave you information that saved lives on this boat. Stand by to dock home port. Special sea duty men and cable party close up. Yeah. Hey! Rep. Still no sign of him, boss. I'm checking up the decks. Two dads is heading aft. Nothing's coming up on the CCTV either. I want Butterworth under lock and key, Dutchy. Keep me informed. One secure. Two secure. swim for it. You're a man of your word, Charge, but there's an awful lot of federal coppers on that wharf. Yeah, and they've all got their eyes on the wharf, not the water. Look, if you're innocent, like you say, then I'm giving you a chance to prove yourself. Just let me check if the rope's secure. And an innocent man. I reckon I'm gonna need one of these to get me out of this pickle. Played you like a fiddle, Charge. <laughs> Dumb empty, you idiot. I gave you a chance to prove yourself. You failed. You think I'm a soft touch? You think again. I'll charge a 12-hour turnaround. Maybe time for a spot of fishing. Nah, I think I'm through with fish and eggs. Really? What about the one that got away? Plenty of fish in the sea. The one that got away is... <laughs> is this about fish eggs or uh, is it a comment on my single status? I would not presume to advise anyone on their romantic life charge, believe me. I was talking about fish. Nah, I think I just got my last one. Ma'am? What have you got there? Rope. It was tied off the starboard waist. It was dangling in the water. 
I have no idea. Stump. Sweeno, Ambos are on their way down. Just gonna go and see how they want to move you. Won't be long. Hi. I feel ashamed of what I said, how I treated you. I judged you without knowing all the facts. Not that that's an excuse. It, it wasn't my place to judge you anyway. I'm sorry. I understand. Eggs before you go. Okay. I know this situation is frustrating for both of us. Navcom is searching for a replacement CEO. Their wheels are just turning a bit slower than I'd expect. Well, let's hope they speed things up. Because patience isn't one of my strongest virtues. No, it isn't. Hey, hey, hey! Ah, uh, this is more like it. It's nice to have you back in the galley, Bomber. You have no idea how good it is to be back there, Charge. It's not to denigrate your culinary skills, Arrow. Even though they did suck to high heaven. Do I look like I care? Hey. Oh, I'll be my guest, Charge. No, you have it. No, no, you? no, I insist you're growing man. No, no, so I insist, man. You have it. Hey! Listen, you hesitate and you die. <laughs> is that a dolphin? Ah, Charge, you might be the Prince of Pushovers, but I, for one, didn't come down in the last shower. Uh, I think it is. I think that's a dolphin. Keep moving, keep moving. You know what, two dads? I think you should be ashamed of yourself for giving Charge such a hard time. You guys, easy pickings. Why is that my fault for? Too bad, so sad. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Who took the muffin? Where's me? Can I look at me? There was a muffin. <laughs> you took it, didn't you? Now give it back. Come on. Hey.